All right, so Armenia literally stepped off the ark, Japheth, the uh, son of Noah, they stepped off the ark, walked 31.68 miles and established the capital of Armenia. The oldest, the oldest nation on earth. The, yes, the oldest nation on earth. Anti-Diluvian or post-Diluvian world. So, amazing. Now, I was just thinking, um, so how far is Patmos from Ararat? Oh, I don't think that. Oh, it's also blatantly obvious now. So you can, you can cast a fishing line 555 miles and you hit Patmos from the pyramid. From the pyramid, yeah. right. Yeah, it might shift a little bit. Oh, just. Oh, 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 excuse me. So, what an amazing day. Now, I'm just trying to think how. Um, you can't stop this one. No. Now, how, I, I was. Um, <laughs> babe, you look. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Basically, well, there's a story about this jacket here. I mean, I. Uh, didn't wear that much, and ash was always in, so naturally it became ashes. And uh, one day it disappeared up the farm. Toowoomba. Toowoomba. And uh, it was gone for um, ten days. Ten days. I went and got the four-wheel drive, which we'd looked in at several times and used it since for herding up the cattle. And um, there it is. As I drive around the house to pick up Ash at the back, she opens the door and the light shines on it, and there's this jacket standing up like a pyramid, leaning back against the seat. And that jacket was used to uh, appear to some people with Gabriel wearing it that become our children. And uh, the little baby uh, that was walking into what Kmart or Walmart or something, and this man looking like me with the jacket on, asked if he could bless little Emmanuel. Yeah. Of course, I let the gentleman do that. Some time later. The baby points to something on the YouTube and it is me. Yes, Michael was wondering what to watch and uh, Yo Emmanuel points to the screen and you you were on there must have been a you know, a screen you know, a small photo of you advertising one of the, the vids and she points to that one. Because that one so he clicked on it and of course found God. Who is Emmanuel, God with us? Which is the one that can uh, kill Belzebub. Number is 644, as is Belzebub, Gematria, Greek. This gets back to your Solomon thing, the Solomon connection, and 666 talents of gold he received from his wives descended from the uh, Solomon Moran. There was no violence during the reign of, uh, of Solomon because everyone was quite content in intermarrying with all these virgins because they had become totally devout and corrupt. It was the pre-dawning of the Talmud. So, their enemy, God gets me, oh, I do, it's Syria, but they're on. That's when my enemy's enemy is my friend. So I'm trying to purify Israel and not the other nations because they've already arrived. So it's this uh, intellectual battle. It's how the, the story is. It's not something we can say, we speculate and guess it. This is exactly what happened. So we've got the book of Isaiah 
which is talking about the key of the house of David, which of course I am and no one in the world, religiously, church-wise, organisation, state, none of us will admit it's me. When it's absolute. I'm not happy about it either. I've got to put up with you fuckers. So that's the reality. Armenia remained where they got off the ark. And you measure that to the Dome of the Rock, which is 68.888 kilometres for Abraham where he was going to sacrifice his son to Mount Moriah. That distance, when you measure it to the city of Armenia, 11 million people, there's your 11 number again, that's what they've been reduced to, by the way, constantly being persecuted. Is 777.77 miles to the Dome of the Rock. So they are the chosen people. And they're the Palestinians. What well, comes up through the seven churches in Turkey? Church of Philadelphia. Now, where is the Church of Philadelphia found? Right beside Laodicea and Ephesus. Sardis. They're all just a very small group. Right. So where's the Church of Philadelphia found in the Revelation? Verses 3-7 and 3-12. Right. And 3-12? Is the new name of God. Right. Which is the Timotria of 3-12. Yes. And therefore, the age when this is fruition takes place is 69 years, because that's 10 times the English geometry of the birth mm. of the King James Bible. Mm. And the Arminians copied the King James Bible. Well, no, they didn't. Not at all. The King James Bible wasn't in effect. What they did, they had the Peshitta, which is the uh, Aramaic, and then the, the, there were three languages spoken throughout the uh, monarch, the court. There was Greek, Syriac, and uh, what's called Pahlavi. They were the, the three languages that spoke. And the, the Armenian language itself uh, wasn't written. So one man took it upon himself when he was asked by the king. They needed to write down their Armenian language. And so he put together an alphabet for the Armenian language. And then two of um, his assistants, if you like, one of them was named Isaac, went to Constantinople to bring back copies of the Greek um, Bible, or the, the Greek writings, they called it the Greek Bible that was in existence. So this is in the early, um, well, the, the fourth century AD. He brought it back and then began to write in the Armenian language for the first time from the Greek Bible that existed. And it was published, it took about, to bring it all together, it took about 32 years. And it was first published in 436 AD. And it has been called the Queen of the Bibles um, in its perfection of. Now, the Armenians themselves are intellectuals. They have men of science, literature, architecture, um, very intellectual and cultural, people of peace, and I I as people of intellect are, they are people of peace, which um, just goes to show you that Israel and the USA, absolutely no intellect at all. Because uh, God is love, and the highest form of intelligence is love. So these people have been persecuted, they've been renowned, throughout the world for being a people of peace, yet they have been persecuted and uh, dispersed throughout all nations of the earth 
And when you read their history, uh, the persecution and the pogroms that happened, the slaughter by the Turks who massacred them, just another nation who massacred them, Persia did as well, um, down through the centuries, they, you understand why the Jews who call themselves Jews and are not, have copycatted, plagiarised and adopted as their own history to gain the sympathy of the world what actually was the genocide of the Armenians. It's an exact replica. They have plagiarised, they've taken it and adopted it for themselves to gain sympathy from the world. It's all total bullshit. And it was all happening uh, between the years of about 1910 through 1920, 21, and continued after that, even up into the 70s and the slaughter of them. But they became a nation in one day on September 21st, 1991. Again, their territory is reduced. They were a huge empire, but uh, um, one nation after another came against them to steal their land, and Turkey is the, the biggest thief, murderous, uh, the Ottoman Empire, atrocious. Uh, they should be annihilated, wiped off the map. So Turkey, if you're listening, watch out for those asteroids. They're coming in. Well, you, you could mention uh, Gaza. Yes, Gaza's dream is already up there on the net. Oh, well, there's another one, same. Yes, yeah, Gaza had a dream, phoned us last night, and said he was scared. Scared him, really scared him, terrified by what he saw, the most lucid he's ever had. And he's had, he's had a couple of, uh, but this is this, he said it was like being awake, seeing it happen. He was in an urban area, saw an asteroid coming and two, what did he say, two sons? Two sons. Two sons, two sons yeah. and this asteroid coming in and then meteors landing in urban areas. And it scared the bejeebies out of him. He was terrified. And it's up there on the net. This is what's happening. So. With Another Turkey. boy, four-year-old. Oh, yes, and two or three vision. weeks ago we uploaded a vision of a four-year-old boy who saw two sons aside from our son. They were very angry. And then in the next scene he drew an asteroid tail coming around the Earth. He drew this tail of asteroids, rocks from heaven he called them, circling around the Earth and then dropping on his own house in the USA. Four-year-old boy. So it's all happening. Others of you have been having these kinds of dreams too, as the Spirit of the God calls out upon us. totally Arthur. unexposed to television. That's right. He had no influence at all. Strictly his own angel at work. Now, of course, this is fulfilling the re revelation where uh, rocks as big as talents will fall on the wicked heads of the wicked and they will, still, they will still not repent. They will still curse God. He's been on the earth and they will still refuse to acknowledge him. Brian, then they go lightly marshal. So I'd say Turkey's one of them. Israel, the USA definitely is going to be destroyed. And all of those nations who have... Uh, oh, do you have a message for uh, Margaret? No. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yes, so, watch out. Remember, name of God that saves, Brian and go lightly marshal. Not Jesus, not Yahweh, not anything else. That's done and dusted, that's all history to get us here to this point. And so you better get used to the new name of God because uh, it's all happening. It's all good for the good, really bad for the wicked. Forgiveness of sins does not mean that you escape the consequences of your sin, does it? Well, that's right. You won't destroy your soul. No, it means you. Yeah, even that can destroy both. Eh? Yes, that's right. So, so forgiveness of sins means. Say the word. Well, you won't destroy your soul, but doesn't mean you're not going to get out of bed killed. Yeah. That depends on how good you've been. And the angels know that they are your witness. So, on that note.